Uh, hello everybody, Ian Robson, and welcome back to Ravenport. Alright, as you can see, we have a little bit of cash sitting around now. Um, I went away for the weekend, I went ice fishing, that's why there wasn't a coffee with Ian on uh, Saturday. Uh, I left my house at, I don't know, 3.45 or like 4, no, I guess I left at 4.30 in the morning and I was up at 3.45, so that's why I didn't uh, record a coffee with Ian. By the time I would have recorded, I would have already been on the road. Anyhow. So, as you see, we have a bit of change here. We're going to go ahead and get a few pieces of equipment. So, if you recall from the last time, we picked up one, two, uh, field one and field two up there in the northwest corner. And uh, kind of get into a stage where we might want to upgrade a couple of our things. So, let's do that now. So, we have a bit of cash. So, let's go ahead and take a look at some bigger tractors here. So, the one I was looking to get is this guy right here. Now, this guy right here is... Um, maximum 420 horsepower. So if we take a look at the trailers, take a look at the disc heroes, we can do use that one no problem. But once we get into the big bud stuff, which I think is under cultivators, up here you need 500 horsepower. That's always the dilemma you run into. So I can't even use this one, which is in game, or that these two right here. So. That's kind of the problem you run into with that. Now, I still want to get it because it'll allow me to do some other things, I suppose. Um, let's take a look here. So we could get this right here. That's a 400 horsepower one. And then what else could we put with it? Cedar-wise, we have a... That requires 420, so we could use that cedar right there without a problem um, if we wanted to go that route. Yeah, we could go that route, the Stara right there, or that one without a problem. The Great Plains, we could do that without a problem as well. So there's a few options here. This one's 450 horsepower, so not... That's the problem I run into. There's no big, big John Deere. Like, if I want to get some of the bigger stuff, I, you basically have to get a Big Bud or one of these guys over here. So you can do a, a Challenger Field Python, maybe? Let me think about this for a quick sec here. So for now, I think we're going to stick with that original plan, and maybe we'll get something else later on. So let's go for the 1,100 kilogram front weight. Uh, biggest engine possible. Gives us 420 horsepower. And wheel setup, we'll stick with... We can do the 3 meters, or the standard... Standard tracks. Oh. We can always change it around. Let's go for that. We'll just pick up that. Yes, please. Okay. And then back. And let's take a look at cultivators. So let's take a quick peek to see. So that one's 500 horsepower, 500 horsepower, 400 horsepower, and that's eight meters. So yeah, you're better off going the other way around. Okay, uh, anything else? Power heroes, they're not that big. So let's go ahead and grab the Lemkin Giant 12. because It's a 400 horsepower requirement, so that'll live us. So basically we have, what do we have right now? I think a six meter one, so we're going from six to 16 meters, so. Let's go ahead and pick that up as well. Yes. Let's go take a look at our new combination. So all these is with $795,000. So let's, before we do that, let's take a look to see if we can pull this one off as well. So we want to get the 790 as well, if we can. So that's going to be twin wheels. We definitely want twin wheels. Well, we could do tracks too. That's an extra 20 grand for tracks. No, we'll stick with it. Standard twin wheels. 10 grand for twin wheels. We'll go for the twin wheels. That will give us a price of 400,000 and that'll leave us with $395,000, which will be enough to, let's go ahead and buy that. Yes. Okay. Now the one thing I'm not too keen on this particular tractor is that they just don't have the, uh, the headers. So we actually have a big field of sunflowers right now which requires a corn header essentially so we could get this guy right here i'm going to take this one just because um i want uh, to be able to fold it up <laughs> it's one of them folds down too and it's easier to store and i don't really probably won't need a uh, a wagon for it basically let's go ahead and pick that up as well main color i think that's john deere that's probably gonna be john deere green right there somewhere in there Go ahead and buy that. Yes. Okay, so we still left have some leftover money. So let's go ahead and 
hop down to the shop here and see what we get. So here's the new John Deere 8370RT. I haven't actually been in this one in it, in game. I've been in it like other times in other games, but. Nice. Looks pretty good. So it looks like from the outside there. It's funny because this model, uh, well, this one, this particular tractor has been around for ages in uh, in other other forms. Not necessarily doesn't look hasn't looked nearly as good as this, but uh, it has been around. So there we go. That's that guy there. So let's get him kind of halfway home. Then we can move him out of the way. So hopefully the uh, train doesn't come by here. So we want to take this one up to field one. So we can actually pull it off to the left here and just follow this road all the way up. And that's going to be our best bet here. All right, just coming up to the field here. Doesn't seem like there's a train coming yet. This is good. Excellent. So this is our field right here that's covered in grass at the moment. So let's go ahead and get ourselves lined up here on the edge. And this will also clean up all the grass that we uh, that's left there. Because without seasons mod, of course, it doesn't uh, it doesn't uh, automatically degrade. Now, I believe I should be able to cultivate this under. We're gonna find out here momentarily. I don't think I need to plow anything. Perfect. I'm gonna do the first pass just to make sure that the uh, hard worker doesn't go into that or field there. That's good. I like this tractor. They did a really good job on this one, actually. Like I said before, we've seen this tractor. Oops, I'm missing a little bit there. We've seen this tractor before in the game, but just not like a proper, you know, edit of it, I suppose, is the best way to describe it. Because there was many variations on it, and they were kind of like they were okay, not nearly as nice as this one so far. And that's what I would that's what I would expect when John Deere partners with a farming simulator or giant software in order to make stuff. So you'd expect it to be you know as good as possible. Here we go. Clean off that little edge there. Perfect. Nice. Did I get that a little bit there? I think so. All right, we can probably hire a worker here now. A bit of a lag spike. Hire a worker on this, and then we'll start harvesting our sunflowers. Drop the cultivator down. There we go. Perfect. Let's go grab that combine now. Uh, where are we here? All right, so here is the S790. Looking good on the inside here. Can't say I've ever driven a combine before. I'm, well, I suppose I could at work if I really, really wanted to. Oh. Uh, but I have not uh, gone out of my way to do so as of yet. Now, one thing I haven't found yet, which I'm a little sad that I haven't found, is the MacDon headers. Um, well, look at that, the PTO hooks up inside and everything. Nice. Uh, on both sides there, you can see that hook up. What does that say? Walter Shield? What is it blocked by? The train? Oh no, the other tractor. Alright, let's move it out of the way then. That should be well out of your way now. Alright, back to the combine. Okay, so let's head back to our field here, and now we will start harvesting our sunflowers that have been sitting there. Now I went for this header because I can do sunflowers and corn, um, which is nice because then I'm in a situation where I don't need two different headers. Now maybe at one point we'll get to that stage, but for now, I'm just going to do it this way. And if you're wondering how I got all that money, it's like, like I said, because I went away for the weekend and I didn't play at all, and... Uh, with the solar panels still generating money, 
Uh, that's how it happened, basically. So for my circumstance, uh, for the way I ended up playing the game on the server a lot, it works out really well for me. Because you make up, you end up making a little bit of money, um, and you're so you're still progressing without having to spend hours and hours and hours. That sometimes I don't have at least. All right, I'll come back here when we're at the actual field. All right, so we made it back up to our field here. Let's go ahead and unfold the header. It's uh, as close as it's going to get, I think, to the John Deere green. Let's go ahead and unfold the combine as well into the work position. Nice. Now the interesting thing is, actually, let me just point something out to you that I noticed a while back here. Uh, combine. So if we go to the this one, this is the biggest John Deere one they have in the game right now. Holds 14,000 liters. If we go to this Agco Ideal, holds 17,000 liters. Isn't that crazy? I, d I noticed that. So that's like a 3,000 more liters. So that's the biggest thing one, one combine I think I've, we've seen in the game so far. So anyhow. Let's go ahead and get harvesting here. I believe this has been fertilized twice already. Let's double check. Just an off chance it hasn't been. The oats haven't been actually. Let's go ahead, let's get fired up here. So, my other situation I'm kind of curious about now is what do I do with uh, my old combine? Do I keep it? I think I might keep the old combine and put it at the other field up in the north end of the, uh, the map there so that we don't have um, so we don't have to truck this one back and forth so often so all right so I'm not sure how long it's gonna take to do this field probably shouldn't take too long with this giant header on here uh, but we probably should get set up with uh, some sort of way of unloading uh, unloading this combine here so here I don't think it'll, it won't be a problem at all to uh, to unload the combine at all but uh, when we get further north on the other area there uh, that's what I'm not sure about so on field one and two up there I'm not sure if if I want to have a truck going back and forth to unload things or what because what I want to do eventually is connect those three fields into one giant field actually I might be able to buy that right now thinking about that what, how much is that one I think it's $295,000 so I can't actually buy this field right now too uh, what's on it right now uh, let's see it's growing and it has sugar beets maybe we'll let that cycle go through first <laughs> I mean I could just cultivate them on there because I'm not gonna harvest sugar beets I don't have the capability of doing so I don't want to buy a whole bunch of sugar beet equipment in that scenario either yeah, I think I'll leave that for the time being until it's something I actually need or slash want. So, we could th take a look at a truck uh, as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at, where's our other tractors here? Uh, no, not that one. Uh, where is our, our Yon Deer? Is it up here somewhere? Not there, not there. That must be the uh, cultivator guy up there. Where did I leave my other tractor? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Guess it finished seeding and that's where I left it. And there we go. Let's go ahead and get this guy hooked up to a trailer real quick here. We can actually unload these somewhere. Unload the sunflowers. I don't think there's anything got a great demand for them right now. So right now I think our maximum capacity for um, any grain is through no 100,000 liters I think at the moment. And then if we get if we upgrade to uh, the other if we upgrade to the other silo at some point we can. Uh, Get some more capacity. There's my solar panel field there. That's what's making us money. Or a lot of money, I should Well, it doesn't make a lot. Well, it depends how you look at it. I can show you the finances to see how much money it actually has actually made me. $174,000 a day, sort of idea. So that's how uh, we're able to kind of get to where we're now. 
All right, we'll leave this here for the time being. Yeah, let's grab the other trailer there. So like I said, we have a we actually have three combines now because we have the forge harvester. I think which is, I guess you might be considered a combine in some cases. Other cases maybe not. So there we go. Park this away in the bay here. And we'll grab our trailer from over here. And go for that. So, what I might do is take a look at another quick, another tractor kind of like in this kind of power range, maybe as well. Oops. There we go. In this power range as well, uh, to try and get maybe another run around that's that's a uh, thought at least so let's go to this side here when it turns around we'll be able to catch up with it and unload it well they don't think it's quite so full yet let's take a quick peek yeah it's about 50 percent or so so with the other header of course you can go faster but in this context i just felt like going with this one more versatile. Perfect. Let's wait till it's full there. All right, combine is turned around here. Let's go ahead and get it unloaded. Looks like it's at eighty percent here. Over fourteen thousand liter capacity. Now the funny thing is, this tractor doesn't have a super huge capacity. Our combine, I should say, doesn't have a super huge capacity in comparison to the other one. I think it was it's only four thousand liters more. Um. Which is kind of crazy when you think about it, but that's enough to uh, it's, it's enough to let, uh, get it unloaded often enough, I suppose. And I guess it really comes down to if you have only four thousand more liters, but you're using like you know double the size of header, then it really adds up very quickly over there. There we go. Get that combine unloaded there. Nice. Very cool. All right, that's that. The tractor's been or combine's been unloaded there. Let's do its thing. It's not too bad. It's a little bit <laughs> definitely quicker than uh, having another combine have at it uh, with a small header at least. So there we go. I think we'll end it there for the day, folks. Let me know if you what you think we should do next. My name's Ian Robson. If you like what you saw, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more FS19 action. I'll catch you guys later.